Welcome to the new Lakanta series. I'm your host, Haley Bobe, and over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna go on a little journey where we bring in different Lakanto experts that are gonna teach you about the products and how you can use them and integrate them into your daily life. Our goal here is to help you be your best self. We want you to discover your chi, to figure out what you're passionate about, and we're gonna help you do that in the healthiest possible way. So come along with us as we learn about the different products, show you how to use them, you're going to get some great recipes, and trust me, we really don't sugarcoat anything. Hi Marissa, Hi. thank you so much for joining yeah, us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So how long have you worked at Lakanto? I've been here almost five years. Okay. So I've worked on a lot of products over the time, and it's really cool to see, you know, something we started on early on now hit the shelves and just kind of get that customer feedback. Tell me exactly what it is that you do with Lakanto. So I do the product development. Okay. So basically the ideation of products to seeing it all the way through on the product shelf. So, so you've gotten to see a lot over five years. Yeah, no, there has been many, many products. And obviously, you know, some things we make in the lab and they don't make it all the way through. So there's a lot of things we've worked on. Yeah, in and that I'm sure time. there's a lot that goes into it. So we're doing the brown sugar today is one of the things that we are highlighting. Yes. Is that one of your favorites? It actually is. Okay. Of all the sweeteners, this is probably the one at least that I use the most just in my own kind of life. Yeah. And so I kind of wanted to show a few different highlights well, and tell of the us. sweetener. So, so how do you use it? What yeah. Are... So it works. I mean, obviously you think brown sugar and you think, you know, something sweet, a cookie, a cake, but it works. Probably my favorite way to use it is in savory recipes, Ooh. kind of highlighting sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. So starting with the savory, this is a chicken skewer recipe. Okay. And so it's using the brown sweetener in the marinade with some soy sauce, some olive oil, some herbs and spices, marinate that, and then grill it. These are roasted carrots um, with kind of a brown sugar um, I will tell glaze. you, I thought they were sweet potatoes. I know, they do look like that. They Honestly, it would so work well good. as sweet potatoes, Yeah. but these are just roasted with the sweetener beforehand, and then it kind of caramelizes and just gets that really sweet coating And so do you roast these it. in the oven? I do, yep. Okay. So I roasted them at like 400, between like 15 and 20 minutes, stirred it in between, and then you can finish it with the broiler as well. Oh, I the, bet. Does it give it like that? It does. Really that kind of glaze. Yes. And that's yeah. something really unique about the brown sweetener is it does caramelize like that. Some, you know, sugar substitutes kind of struggle yeah. that way, but the brown sweetener definitely you'll get that caramelized okay, I have kind to of crispy ask, top. Because I've learned about all the different sweeteners. Yes. So is the brown does the brown one do that more in particular? Like if I did the classic sweetener, would it have the same effect or is that specific to I'd the brown? I'd say that's specific, specific to the brown. Okay. Um, I think just with some of the ingredients in there, it just tends to kind of caramelize more. Okay. And even if you feel it, it has kind of that it moisture. It does, it's like got that, um, more of that like packing. Exactly, yep, so you can really pack that in. Um, and it definitely kind of toasts up a bit better. Okay, so if we want to caramelize, we yes. use the I, brown. Yep. That's that is what the way to would go. be my recommendation. Okay, good to know. And then I also kind of wanted to show it in some sweet recipes as well. Obviously, like I mentioned, cakes, cookies, those kind of standard recipes, it's gonna work great. Yes. But I wanted to highlight um, a boba tea recipe. So it's a black tea Love base. Love boba. Yes. So good. But then I made a brown sugar syrup with it. So okay. it's just equal parts brown sweetener and water. And so that's kind of the sweetener base. And then you can also top it with any of our simple syrup. So this is our vanilla. Sweetener. Okay. And so that works great. Again, tea, coffee, boba. Cake. I just want to smell it. Yeah. I have a tendency is, to do this. No, I you're like fine. to smell the different product. <laughs> and oh, it, it smells Yeah, good. it's Sweet. kind of a French vanilla it is. type flavor. I love that. Um, so that works really well. And then um, just topping it with some, some cream. milk. You can use dairy, non dairy, really whatever you want. And that's the neat thing about this is it's so customizable. If you want something sweeter, you can add in, you know, the vanilla syrup, yeah. more of the brown sugar base. You can have it so, sweeter, but without, without like all the sugar yeah. and the calories. So and... this is 100% sugar free. Okay, which awesome. Is pretty cool. I love so, that. And then are we finishing off our meal then with finishing some... off with our kind of sweet <laughs> and salty it. kettle corn. Okay. So this is using, again, the brown sweetener. You heat up the oil with the sweetener and it'll kind of melt down. And then you can add in the popcorn kernels and then once it pops, it coats every piece of it. Okay. And so this is a cool way to get, yeah, like a 100% sugar free. How do we get these recipes? Are they on the website? Yes. Or so we they're all post on um, the Lakanto blog. So okay. you can find all them there. Yep, with directions, okay. pictures, everything. Okay, awesome. That's where you'll find them. Okay, great. So that's how you can get them and you can make it yourself. Okay, I'm just gonna serve you some okay. of these beautiful carrots. They really are so pretty. I love when food is pretty. <laughs> 
Oh, Makes nice. it a bit, yeah, more yeah, funny. Yeah, we'll take it. So this is our La Concha barbecue sauce. Okay. So it's sweetened with our monk fruit mm, blend. Like tangy, Yep, sweet. it's tangy. It's, you know, great as, you know, kind of you can marinate it, a topping, dipping. It really works across the board as a great condiment. And it's no sugar added. It really is. Yes. Yeah. And that's something that you don't realize with condiments. You know, you dip things in I it. Know. You don't think, but it the sugar really like adds up. you go to get ketchup and it's like, there's specifically ketchups where it says no sugar added. And I'm like, why were we adding yeah, sugar no, in the No, and that's place? the thing. You don't realize how sneaky sugar could be. And so. it can just like get into everything. Yeah. And especially for me as a mom with kids, it's like, I feel like we're already fighting the struggle of like, ah, <laughs> oh, not so much sugar. You know, right. they're always asking for candy or they're going to parties and they have cake and mm-hmm. ice cream and all that is wonderful and it's fun to celebrate. But yeah. then in like the day in, day out life, it's so nice to have some options to where we can reduce that sugar mm-hmm. where we where we can, yeah, right? Like we definitely. don't need it in a barbecue sauce. No. We don't need it in a marinade. Exactly. So it's really neat that you guys have come up with these products that really are helping families and helping people all over to reduce their sugar yeah. intake. It's yeah. awesome. Okay, so let's try it. Okay. Hmm. That is really yeah. good. Do you get it's just really that not hint? too mm-hmm. sweet. No, not at all. Because it has enough of the tang, that sauce in particular. Exactly. It's but it's really just enough. good. Yeah. I want to try the carrots. Mm. Okay, in the carrots, I am definitely getting some of that maple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the maple undertones. Definitely. That is delicious. Yeah, kind of that molasses or toasted mm-hmm. kind of flavor. How would you use it? Like, what other vegetables would you say? Hey, this would make a great like oh, sweet potatoes. Sweet like potatoes, I mentioned, you maybe. could definitely do. Would you do it on like yeah. an acorn squash? Or maybe? a butternut squash would. Or also like a be, butternut yeah, squash. Yeah, kind of a blend of like root vegetables yeah. would definitely be a good option. For yes, I can totally see that. That would, yeah, be really yummy. Okay, we're gonna try the tea. Do we add the milk or does this we one did, already have yeah, it? Yeah, this one has milk. You can definitely top it with more. With but more. okay, um, well, I'm gonna try it like this first. That boba is such a fun surprise. <laughs> I know. It's always like, kind of catches yay. you off guard, but a little, a little <laughs> snack with it, Oh, too. that is really good. The boba is delicious. Mm-hmm. Is that recipe on La Canto? That is. Yep. So you'll find this one on our blog as well. Uh, oh, and I it's love it. a very easy, you know, you think boba is kind of fancy or something difficult to make, but it's it's so easy. Marissa, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I didn't even know you could make boba at all. <laughs> I just, like, always go to a boba shop. Right. Like, buy it. Exactly. But this is really good. Yeah. And, now and it can... has the same texture. Yeah. As boba. Definitely. I really, really enjoyed that. And then tell me, what's making the tea sweet? Is that this? Is that uh, the... So we topped it with that, but it actually has a brown sugar syrup in there oh, as well. that's right. That's what you said. Yep. Okay. So it's just like, a, yeah, equal parts Good. sugar and water. And again, you could use that in coffee, in other recipes as well. It's a very versatile just combination. It's really yeah. good. I love it. No, that's great. Okay, let's finish off and our, our finale. Like we ate everything. I know. And now we're going to watch a super fun chick flick and yes. we're going to get some popcorn. So this let's is, do it. yeah, Lakanto kettle corn. Mm. So with kettle sugar. corn is the way to go. It's, that's my favorite. I'm like butter popcorn. Mm, no thanks. I love kettle corn. Yeah. No, oh, it's. Mmm. So is that. Oh, it's so good. I know. I really like that. Yeah. So, and that one again, so simple, so easy to make. So, you know, and so can... great to have on like a little weekend yeah, movie night. Exactly. I love it. Well, Marissa, thank you so much yeah, for thank joining you us so and much. being here. We really appreciate you and we appreciate you sharing all your expertise with of us. Of course. Thanks. <laughs>